Hey everyone, how are you doing? Happy Friday. This is Jordan from the Traders Terminal and today I'd like to dedicate this video to the crypto space. Now, given the most recent events from the last few days regarding the Ripple case, uh, a what if scenario came to my mind and I decided to make a video about it. Before we move on to the actual Ripple chart, however, I would like to lay the foundations using the Bitcoin chart because we're going to talk about correlations here and possibly a repeatable pattern, but let me walk you through my idea. Now, as you can see, this is the 2018 massive push up, which followed uh, by this pullback. And then we got the next move to the upside. What I'm interested in here is what happened from this point in moment, which was the swing high versus this point in moment, which was the absolute bottom there, right? So we basically grab this fractal and we're going to apply it to the um, top right here of the current chart. And we can see that in terms of time, the price is pretty much coming to the end of it, which means now we can be thinking about two things. Is the price going to continue lower as it did previous time, which, by the way, created approximately 83-4% pullback there, okay, and do the same thing, or is it going to remain in the same zone? As we can see, this is approximately the 74%, right? If it goes to this 83, 84, 85% level, the price will need to go to approximately 11,500 or so, plus minus a bit. We have many um, technical levels there that we can use, but in general, this is the zone. So that's one, all right? This is the first thing we need to consider. Second thing is that we have this logarithmic channel and the price of bitcoin is currently at the bottom of this logarithmic channel and all things equal if the history is to repeat itself we know that from these levels approximately the price tends to push to the upside uh, but now back to to this chart as i said so if that was the bottom right look what happened afterwards there was this initial pumping phase followed by this very long pullback or consolidation afterwards, and only then massive move up. So how is all this correlated to the Ripple price? Well, what I'm thinking is, since uh, XRP chart find a lot of momentum because of the um, involvement of the case and the summary judgment and all that, we can see that the price created this massive push upside. So bottom line for me is, what if Bitcoin is very close to this at least initial stage massive push up? Because we know that Ripple is usually a lagger. It tends to move near the end of the cycle. But what if this time we have the sentiment, positive sentiment of the case, right? Plus Bitcoin starting to move up, right? What kind of uh, outcome can we get from this kind of combination. And this is the big what if scenario. <clears throat> now, if I had to speculate on a pure technical level, looking at the price action there, we can see that naturally the price is respecting the previous zone, which is around 30, right? 30 cents right here. And it started forming this consolidation. Once the consolidation was broken during this, uh, current bar here, we can see that the consolidation zone, which is now around 40, the top of the consolidation, must hold for this thing to be, from a technical perspective, valid, right? So it's all about what Bitcoin is going to do in the next few weeks. Are we going to get this push down towards 7,000, 11,000, 10,000 dollars, right? Or the price will start pushing upwards and this chart will manage to grab this attention, bullish attention to the cryptos and be applied to this specific 
token, which is the XRP. So it's all about this kind of combination and how things could play out when exactly Bitcoin is going to start giving some kind of push to the upside. Is it going down for one more leg or not? And how all this is going to correlate to this specific level, whether the price is going to consolidate and then upright. All these kind of combinations are very interesting, but I thought it's an interesting thing to be shared for you to get prepared if you uh, still miss on this opportunity to join somehow. All right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.